What's up, everyone, and welcome back to the Star Vision YouTube channel. My name is Sebastian, and let's get right into it. Week 7, Divisional Matchup, Game Breakdown. The Washington football team defeats, destroys, dismantles the Dallas Cowboys 25-3. to Imagine losing to a team that doesn't even have a name. The football team. This is beyond unacceptable. Our season is over. Cowboys fans are fed up. The players are bad. The coaches are horrible. The front office is clueless. This is the first time in my lifetime I have lost hope for the Dallas Cowboys. This is just ridiculous. 2015 when Romo got hurt, it was never this bad. So I guess we're here to talk about the game against the, the football team. The offense, the offense was inept throughout the whole game, only putting it up three points. And those three points came from a Tony Pollard 67-yard kick return. Cowboys went three and out, settled for a field goal. That's your only points in this football game. Also, Andy Dalton in the during the third quarter, I believe, Andy Dalton runs, slides, Washington football team starting linebacker John Bostic comes in helmet first while Dalton is sliding. Head to head to head collision. Dalton's helmet comes off. Concussion. John Bostic, that was a dirty hit. Unacceptable. He should get suspended. He was ejected, but the fact that the Cowboys players did not step up for Dalton after that just careless hit, you know, teammates are supposed to back each other up. When Dalton got hurt, no one got to, no one got into John Bostick's face. After the game, here's a quote from Mike McCarthy. We speak all the time about playing for one another, protecting one another. It definitely was not the response you would expect. These Cowboys players are just not in the right mindset. They are defeated as well. They're not playing with heart. They're not giving their 100%. This is just, this is beyond just skill set and coaching. These players are not, are not in focus in the game. Like, if I see one of my teammates on the ground and just take a dirty hit, I'm a, I'm a go talk to that guy. That's just, this team is lost. This team is not close. Just unacceptable. And then Dalton as exits the game, and Ben DiNucci finishes the game for for what's that worth? That's worth. I can't talk. My bad. Also, the offensive line, as we talked about in the game prep, just brutally injured. We got Tyron Smith out, Zach Martin out, Leo Collins out, Joe Looney. All of our offensive linemen hurt. And against this elite pass rush, as we emphasized last video, they came to play. They had six sacks. Dalton was just... Getting hit all game. Danucci was getting hit all game. It's just a problem. We have no offensive line depth. And it's just ridiculous. You can't win football games without an offensive line. Um, we couldn't move the ball. Just three and outs. Couldn't convert on third downs. And our play calling. Questionable play calling on by Kellen Moore. Multiple instincts 
second and long, second and 10, second and 12, running the ball, gaining zero to one yards. Like, are you even trying to win? Why are we running it? We're behind, given that. We're behind in the game. We're just running the ball, just one yards. Good job. Now you got third and long. Couldn't convert. Just Mike McCarthy, you came here because you're an offensive-minded head coach. I think it's time for Mike McCarthy to start calling plays because, I mean, the season's a wash anyways. We're done. Let's just see what we can, what we have for next year, Kellen Moore. I was a big fan of you, but I don't know about now. Just questionable play calling. And yeah, let's move on to the, the defense. Once again, defense is atrocious against the worst offense in the NFL. I saw a graphic. It was like, this is the, this is the worst defense versus the worst offense. Just. There's that. Their offense came to play. Our defense didn't. Our the players on the defense are not good. They're not. They're not motivated. They're not. They're not good. They're not motivated. They're just going through the motions. That's just. That's just unacceptable. I, this defense not good. Mike Nolan, horrible coach. He's still around. At he's our defense has given up. I think 36 points per game. That is the worst in NFL history. You cannot make this up. Mike McCarthy still does not acknowledge the struggles on that defense. It's just, it's sad. It is sad. This defense is horrible. Um, Terry McLaurin had a big play on Trevon Diggs. The blown coverage, wide open, 52-yard touchdown. That just put the game away and we cannot stop the run. What um, players, they have their career days against the Cowboys. Last week it was Kenyon Drake going for 100 plus. This week, rookie Antonio Gibson, he had 128 yards. Break, breakout game, average 6.4 yards per carry. I mean, who wouldn't run if they're getting six yards every carry? That's just sad. Our defense is horrible. Let's move on to the three things we needed this game to win. I don't think I'm going to do this anymore because we're not going to win anymore. Reduce turnovers. Strip sack by Dalton led to a safety. Um, Zeke dropped a ball. Popped up in the air. Redskins linebacker, Washington football team's linebacker, picks it off, game over, right before halftime. Would have been a momentum. Nah, no, nah. it would have helped, but with this team, nah. Established offense again. Got no offense today. Legit, horrible offense. Number three, cover Terry McLaurin. Terry McLaurin had 90 yards on top of that big play. So, no, their best weapon balled out. Never doing that again. Um, now, let's talk about the season outlook. As, as me and other Cowboys fans are just fed up at this point, we suck. Let's just look into next year. We don't have our starting quarterback. Dak Prescott is out for the year. This season... It's over. We're in the NFC East. We lost a divisional game. We needed to win this game for some sort of confidence, but no. We come out flat, and we look. We got destroyed by the, the football team. So, um, my retrospect, it's draft time. This is the first time I have looked into the draft this early. It's only week seven, and I'm already giving up. So we're going to have a top 10 pick, hopefully top five. We need defense. We need we need everything. Offensive line depth. We just, we need better players. We need just clean house. The trade deadline's coming up November 3rd. Maybe we trade away some of our young guys for some 
draft picks because we're not going to resign. Maybe like Jordan Lewis, he hasn't been n- no help this year. Um, just, we'll see November 3rd, trade deadline. Just make some changes for the future. Get some young guys in here. And coaching changes need to happen on the defensive side. I think I believe Mike McCarthy is going to stay after this year because it's not fair. You lose your franchise quarterback to a season-ending injury, and you shouldn't pay those consequences. With that being said, thank you guys for staying here with me, supporting my YouTube channel. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button to, to better days as a Cowboys fan. Let's just throw this season away and look for the future cuz it can only go up from it can only go up from here right stay safe and peace out